What's going on there YouTube and welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today, we are going to jump back over to Image Comics. Actually, this is our first time jumping over to Image Comics. And for our first time getting into Image Comics, we're going to cover the first storyline in Spawn Comics that really introduced us or well, the world to spawn a very unique character that fans out there really loved back in the 1990s and still love till this day so if you do like today's comic book video please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's video. With the opening of this page, we have someone talking to us about how he does not belong here. That for some reason, something brought him here and he doesn't know why. Making it seem that maybe he lost his memories and of course it is bothering him because he is trying to know why he's alive again, but also wants to know why he was brought here. Like something inside of him wants to be in this city. Then the next page we get a news channel telling us about a man named Al Simmons, how he was a highly ranked soldier but he died. The news mentioned about his wife Wanda Blake and how she had a hard time bearing her husband's body. They briefly mentioned that a man named Lieutenant Colonel Simmons is a very sketchy man and had his hand in a lot of sketchy moves that may have been covered by the government. Then finally, Martin Alexander is the man who apparently was the person that brought Al Simmons and Wanda Blake together. Now, our character who was talking to us earlier basically starts to remember more things about the past. That for starters, he was in the army. He was also someone that was loved, but was also hated. That after he died, he began to think more about some lady, a lady that he loved and he wanted to see her again so badly. So he made some kind of deal with someone to be able to come back to life. The problem is that he does not remember the name of the person who he made the deal with. Also, he does not remember the name of the lady he really loves so much. So with that being said, we open the next section of the book to us getting the first look of Spawn. So now his mission is to figure out who he is, where he is from, find the woman he loves so much and get revenge against the man who he made a deal with and took his memories. He thinks he'll be able to remember when he finds his lady and that will unlock a lot of his memories. We then pick up with two different cops, one being named Sam Burke and the other one having a nickname Twitch. Now these two guys are trying to figure out who is going around killing some mobsters. Now the way the people are dying it's more of someone going out and taking out their heart and this plot line will lead us to the main bad guy of this video and give us a lot of answers as well. Switching back over to Spawn, we see him going around to see what kind of powers he has and trying to use them to help protect a lady who is being attacked by some random thugs. Now this was a way to show that when it comes to regular humans against him, well, he is way stronger than they are, and there is no way they stand a chance against him. So we see him take out these thugs quickly. Now he is able to save the woman from these thugs and tries to help her up. That is when he is hit with another memory that of a lady that he may love. It is him getting a better idea who he is and who she is as well. Now. It is not like he learns her name, but learns that when he died, she mourned his death. It doesn't tell him where to go or where she is, but it's building up the idea that she is someone he has to go to if he wants to unlock more of his memories. That even includes 
may be how he became this Spawn character. When he wakes up, that is when he's in the arms of the lady that he just saved. It shows that when he gets his memories back, it shuts his whole body down and makes him go through tremendous amount of pain. Now, the news is reporting that someone is going around killing people and taking out their hearts as well. So you have news telling you that there are some people out there who don't really care and honestly kind of happy that someone is going around killing people and taking out their hearts as well because these are bad guys. It leads to Spawn wanting to know what he looks like under the mask because remember he never took it off yet he just woke up one day and saw himself wearing some kind of new outfit which of course when he does take it off well he looks like a crazy mess also he begins to cry because he wants to know more about his past life he know that he died he was pulled out of limbo the question is who pulled him out? Finally, we get a look of the character that actually pulled him out. This is our first appearance of Mel Bolgia. I know I just butchered that name. The person who could be behind the torturing of Albert Simmons into the spawn creature he is and tells us that he is not done playing around with Al Simmons. Now we get our first introduction of the Violator. That sounds like a horrible name. Yes, he does look like a clown, and he is going to be the bad guy of this book. Now, it seems that he is just a random guy in some clown paint, but we're going to see his true form and also watch him get a downgrade at the same time. Now, we see that he tells us that has some kind of plan cooking to basically impress his boss. But now his goal is to watch over Spawn and also make sure Spawn falls in line as well. You will see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Getting back to Spawn, we see him beginning to gather himself after being so shocked by the way he looked. He's just telling us that he is going to continue to figure out who he is and trying to figure out the name of his his wife. Now, there is a moment where he does see the violator and wonder who he is and begins to go down there to see him. Except when he gets down there, of course, the violator is gone. Now, heads up, this is where we begin to see some bloody mess. This is me being real here because remember, there is someone going around killing monsters and ticking out their hearts. And the question is, who is going around doing that? Well, we see that there is some other kind of demon out there, and this demon is the one who is going around killing people and taking out their hearts. This demon and Spawn will meet very soon, and when they do, it is going to begin to give us some idea about Spawn and how he got here to be this creature he is now. Now, getting back to Spawn, with him trying to learn more about who he is and what power he has, well, we see that he knows he can't go up to his wife with the way he looks. So instead, what he does is use his powers to change his appearance. Now, remember that Al Simmons is a black guy. So with him using his powers, well, it actually turns him into looking like a white guy which of course is the complete opposite of what he looks. No matter how many times he tries to change it to him being a black guy, the results are the same. He keeps ending up looking like a white guy. This leads into Spawn being able to tap into more of his memories the more he tries to use his powers to change his appearance. Except this time, it leads to him remembering about his best friend, Jason Wynn, who was also his boss, except over time, things between them did not go well. Even though Simmons looked at Jason as a brother rather than a boss, it seems that Jason Wynn was actually crooked. So crooked that to Simmons, he looked at Jason Wynn as true evil. With Simmons remembering all of this, it made him crash into the ground, 
continuing the idea that every time Simmons remembers something, his whole body just crashes down. Now, with Spawn being on the ground, of course, he is greeted by Violator, who basically makes it seem that he cares, except in reality, he doesn't really care at all. He is just here to bother Spawn and make it seem that he is stronger than Spawn. This is where you have Violator tell Spawn that he is technically a Hell Spawn. Of course, we shall all know what that means. Now you have Violator thinking he is a big shot and Spawn should be scared of him. Of course, Spawn is not. Spawn begins to walk away. Now, while Spawn is walking away, you have Violator following behind, except we can see that Violator's shadows resembles the same figure as the demon that is going around killing people and taking out their heart. Except this is also the moment you have Spawn finally remember the name of his wife, which of course is Wanda. With him remembering, he's beginning to think about going to see her, but wondering what to say and what to do. Because remember that it has been five years since his death till now with him being Spawn. Either way, he knows in his heart that he wants to see the lady he once was with and still loves. Don't worry. He still has the mindset of going after the person who he made the deal with and also turn him into a hell spawn. It will come much later, but he will see that person in this video. This leads us back to seeing Mel Bolgia, who heard Spawn and watched Spawn when he said that he is coming after the person who he made the deal with. This is the moment we learn that Mel Bolgia has to be the one who made the deal with Spawn, that he just picked Al Simmons to be Spawn because of his past life being a higher killer and stuff. It made sense for Bel Mel Bolgia to pick him and that Mel Bolgia is not done torturing Al Simmons. That he will do whatever he says because when he and Mel Bolgia made the deal, Al Simmons did not read the fine print at all and now will be stuck doing grunt work for Mel Bolgia. Now Spawn knows her name but doesn't know where to find her. So what he does next is go to the CIA building hoping to find some information about where his wife moved to. He finds out, but before he goes there to see her, he decides to deal with a small problem, which is that one of the managers there has been harassing his assistant. So you have Spawn decide to scare off this man because he is being a creep. Also, this man has not apparently been paying his child support and helping to take care of his son. So Spawn scares him so much into doing those two things. If he doesn't, Spawn will come back to hurt this man. Now, this will be a heartbreaking moment for Spawn because now he has to approach Wanda, who he has not seen in a long time. Confused on what to say, he doesn't even look like his original self. So this is going to be a man scared and confused, except the heartbreak moment comes when he finds out that she remarried and had a daughter with her new husband. We also learn that this is something he was unable to do for Wanda, which was give her kids. Someone else was able to, and that person is Terry Fitzgerald. This is huge because this man was Al Simmons' best friend, our other best friend when he was alive. Now, his best friend is now married to Wanda and was able to give her a daughter. After going through that heartbreaking moment and building a new relationship with them under a new name and a new look, he leaves to go sit in his thoughts about this moment. Except he doesn't really get the chance because he is bothered by the Violator once again, who is trying to bother Spawn. Now this is a big moment because this is where we learn that Violator is the one who was going around killing monsters and taking their hearts out which then he does the same thing to Spawn actually, by taking out his heart, which you would think 
that it would kill someone actually because usually it does kill someone except you have spawn get back up and show that he is no longer your usual human anymore that now he is some kind of demonic being now violator is confused on how this is even possible because like i said when it comes to your heart you kind of need that except we see that whoever gave violator his abilities told him that he will actually be more powerful than spawn of course we know that at this moment we know it is not true it seems maybe they're on the same pe same power level except you have spawn being able to pick up his heart put it back in his chest and actually close his wounds like now he is completely healed up but this makes Spawn very angry, since now he's just had somebody rip his heart out and he's going to make sure that Violator is going to pay for what he did. And this is going to lead into our big battle, which you have the two of them fighting against each other, but also we see that they are tearing limbs off each other, blasting holes into each other. Right now, it seems that these two are maybe at the same power level since they really can't kill each other like the other one thinks they can do. This lasts for a while because it is trying to show what I had just said. These two are close on the same power level. You have Melbourne Gia appear to shine the light on things for the two of them. For one, he tells them that he's the one who gave them the power they have been using in this whole video. That basically, he is trying to build up an army to fight against God. Now, he is not the devil in the Image universe. He is more like one of the powerful demons in Hell. Really, he is in the 8th circle, but he is trying to build up his army to fight against God. He chose Al Simmons to basically go out there to find the souls he needs to help him get what he wants, which is of course souls for the army he needs to take down God. He repairs Spawn's lost body parts, but it is him telling Spawn, like, listen man, you are really stuck here. You have to help me and you can't walk away from this deal. Now for Violator, remember that I said earlier he is going to lose his powers to get a downgrade. That is because Violator was going around using his powers that Mel Borgia gave him to kill people around the city for fun, hoping to make Mel Borgia happy. To Mel Borgia, he only gave Violator powers to use to keep an eye on Spawn, not to be going around killing people. That really, he could have let God know what Mel Borgia could be doing on Earth. So he takes the powers he gave Violator and also tells us that just like Spawn, Mel Borgia also created Violator. And you have Mel Borgia leave the show that he is not going to deal with any more drama. The book closes on Wanda waking up, but with her telling Terry that she has some kind of feeling that Al Simmons is alive again, or his soul is calling out to her. Either way, it is saying there is some kind of connection between the two of them. This is where we are going to end today's video. But if you like today's video, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's video.